Good morning and welcome to your Friday Lettings Update. Is it cold enough for you? Um, well, the one thing that struck me this week that I'm going to have a quick chat with you is the clickbait of Andy Barnum talking about um, extending the ev dates for evictions, the eviction moratorium. I've had a number of landlords ring me up absolutely oh my god what does this mean how does this affect me it doesn't aff it doesn't affect our landlords so if you're working with us i'm talking to you don't worry what does what does it mean by extending the eviction date well let's go through the scenario you can give notice to your tenant it's six months if your tenant doesn't move out after six months then that's when you start relying on the courts various levels and layers that you go through and you will get to a bailiff date the, I will say bailiff date, you'll get to the eviction date and that's what's been put on hold over the last year. We are not working with any landlord who is in that situation, but we have been giving some notices to our tenants and what's actually been happening there or what, why have we been doing that for either the landlord having to sell the property or needing to move back into the property. So they are the two issues. We have no landlords that have given notice because the rent has not been paid. Now, I'm not saying that all the rent's been paid because there are people on furlough, so we're getting 80% of the rent, but basically the rent has been paid. So I suppose in some respects, what is the, the why get people worried about extending an eviction date? Um, it's just, to me, very negative rhetoric um, for landlords. We work with a huge number of landlords and have over the last, well, have over the last years, but the last year in particular, we've seen nothing but humanity and compassion um, with the people that we work with. And that has been wonderful. And that's not recognised. The, uh, there's still this constant view out there that, well, the constant view that you get fed that the landlord's the oppressor and the tenant is the oppressed. The private rental sector only works because the landlord is mutually reliant on the tenant and the same way around. So when you see these negative sound bites, apart from the fact that it don't really mean that much to us, um, I'm sure there are some people that may be in a difficult situation and I, sorry, I'm just talking from our point of view. Um, but it really is a case of let's try and get some positive um, recognition of what landlords actually do with and for their tenants because there are a lot out there that do some great stuff. On that note, I will see you next week. If there's anything you particularly want me to talk about, just give me, drop me a line on maxinelester.co.uk. Take care.